My name is Brian Kane. Um, the production designer of uh, Gene Ronberg's Andromeda, season five. Um, I am the third production designer in the series, but I have been here since day one. I've been the set tech creator up until now. When the time came to look for a new production designer this year, I was the natural choice. The show was developed five years ago by Robert Hewitt Wolf based on a couple of shelled scripts by Gene Ronberry. It was actually a conglomeration of two different storylines. When Robert came in at the beginning to put together this idea, I was part of the original team who helped theorize what the Commonwealth was going to be, what the High Guard was going to be, and what we could do with it uh, within the confines of technology and our budgets. and and you know our crews and our time limits we're basically trying to create the future um, our biggest challenge has been our very limited budget uh, uh, budget dictates not only what you can build but how quickly you can build it um, you know our long shooting schedule is six days and we're doing quite a few four-day episodes this year as well it's a fun show uh, I stepped into the designer role this year from the decorator role at a really good time. Uh, our influences this year are far less clean and streamlined and far more Fellini and Terry Gilliam. We are truly stuck in the backwoods of the universe this year. And we're having fun with it. You gotta watch your step around here. Season five is a whole new show, um, which is why I'm having so much fun with it. Our story at the end of the last year, basically our entire crew was about to die uh, and got pulled through the route of ages and plumped down into the planetary system of Sifra. Uh, nine planets, all almost identical. Intruder. Intruder. You know, I'm not in the mood, okay? Life will forever be a deadly enterprise with only one sad end. And there's only one solution. Deny exploration and embrace exploitation. You don't know if you're pre-civilization or post-civilization, not that it's jungle bound and dinosaurs running around uh, uh, but what you find is that it's really it's a uh, the entire civilization is built on the junkyard of past civilizations it's time bedroom before the fall of the common one over 300 years ago give or take a handful this wasteland was once the height of civilization and any known universe. Um, there's a water shortage. There are two suns in this planet. They're on the blink, and uh, you know, everybody's drying up, which is a hard thing to do in Vancouver, by the way, because it rains here. Um, we built Seafra out in our back lot. Uh, we decided rather than going on location this year, let's just build the town. So, um, what we've got here is, uh, you know, the basis of Seafra. It's kind of taken apart right now because uh, we're not shooting. Um, what we needed to do when we designed the set was we needed to incorporate the building. Um, and again, uh, we're saying that this whole town is built on space debris. Uh, you know, water is, is a scarcity. These are, this is our water uh, collection and purification system up here. Um, this used to be our catering area over here. Uh, we had to move it all when we decided to build an outdoor set. Um, and what happens is uh, we move all these towers around uh, to create our alleys. Um, uh, again, script specific. This is nine different planets and it changes around. It's pretty mobile. I live with the impossible every day. <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!
And this is uh, the exterior of our saloon, uh, which uh, we find out is, uh, again, um, a chunk of Eureka Maru hangar bay or a Eureka Maru-like ship. Uh, so we've um, I got our exterior here, which is hiding our set deck storage tent back there. Um, we've got our match inside, uh, which is basically, you know, the first 12 feet of this entrance all the way back. Uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to see the saloon yet. Um, and then, uh, you know, what ends up happening, like I said, is we'll roll these towers around to create whatever alleys, uh, shops, scenes, uh, right now for the 100th episode. Um, we're on C for two and there's a fair going on. Uh, and so we're gonna be doing a giant circus. Um, what's really cool is what our CG guys can do where our physical sets stop. Uh, keeping in mind that we're in a drought ridden planet, uh, the tops of these trees and the screen is not something we wanna see. The CG guys paint the next 100 feet of set and do a fantastic job. Wait till you see the stuff this year. This is the interior of the saloon that matches the exterior that we showed you out in the town of Sifra. Uh, this used to be Andromeda's hangar, um, and uh, we decided that in true Western sense, uh, the saloon and Den of Iniquity and gaming parlor uh, were going to be the main meeting place and, you know, story jump off point uh, for Sifra. Uh, we've been in here just about every episode. Um, you know, we had to take an existing space and make it look completely different, uh, you know, um, keeping in mind that uh, we're in a place where water is, um, water is gold, basically. Uh, we serve things like saliva, martinis, um, and I don't want to tell you where we get our other sources of liquid. You know, our homemade hooch still over here. Um, um, you know, our, our uh, created gaming parlor. Um, you know, uh, I, although it's taken down right now and what you're seeing through there is the uh, Andromeda, um, that leads to the brothel because uh, any good Western town has got to have a brothel. Hence the alien nude. Again, uh, this set is all about uh, layers and texture. There's a couple of different ways that you could approach texture. One is uh, designing it, sculpting it, and forming it. But when you need um, a lot of texture fast, you look into the real world. Um, what you're looking at here is a septic leach field. Um, this is part of a septic system, uh, as are the bigger ones that are up there. Um, you know, but they're really just beautiful texture. Uh, our light sconces are made from uh, semi-trailer semi uh, smokestacks. Um, you know, our entertainment system over there is made up of uh, components from uh, antenna truss, fish hatchery floats, and good old plumbing pipe. I do a good part of my research at Home Depot.